For a long time, Linux distribution has been known for giving system performance as its top priority rather than looks. I mean, there are beautiful desktop environments like KDE or GNOME, which lets you transform the user interface, but the process of customizing can sometimes get too complicated and intimidating for a new user. But fortunately, this trend has been changing for good from past few years. Now we have distributions like Elementary and Dippin OS, which have their own custom built desktop environment that not only looks gorgeous, but also has pretty modern and efficient user interface. So what's up everybody, welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and this is my review of the latest version of Dippin OS, that is version 15.3. Now Dippin OS is actually quite an old Linux distribution that started in 2004 as Hyveed Linux but later it was owned by a Chinese company called Wuhan Dippin Technology. So the OS is from China. It used to be based on Ubuntu but from version 15 onwards it started using Debian Unstable channel as its base. Now the ISO image can be downloaded from their website dippinos.org. The installation process is extremely simple with only two steps which are entering your login credentials and selecting the hard drive partition where you want to install the operating system. Alright, so now let's review this operating system on five key criteria. Number one is look and feel. Now from the login screen to the desktop and the shutdown screen, all looks quite modern and nicely designed. You look at this distribution and you can tell that there's a lot of effort has been put in in designing the user interface of this distribution. Um, everything looks pretty nice from design aesthetic point of view. Linux distribution has always been rated as operating system that's not great on looks. But this distro is right up there competing with the best user interface of any operating system, not only in Linux, but also across platform. The desktop has a dock at the bottom with shortcuts to few apps and settings. The dock can be moved to any side of the screen and you can also change its size. It also has two modes, the default mode is called fashion mode and then there is this efficient mode which kind of resembles to the windows taskbar. Now by default there is no setting to change the transparency of the dock. Next is the default apps that comes pre-installed with the standard installation of any operating system. Now Dippin has a pretty decent selection of default apps. This launcher icon at the bottom gives you a list of all the default applications on the Dippin OS. Now you have Google Chrome for web browsing, you have WPS Office Suite, you have Skype for video calling, you have Dippin Store for installation of your application, you have Spotify Music App, Steam for gaming, you have Document Viewer for your PDF files, then you have Thunderbird as your default mail client and you also have Archive Manager for opening up archive files and then you have this crossover app which is um, an app to let you run Windows program on this machine. It's pretty useful application. If you are in a situation where you have to run a Windows program, this application could be of great help to you. Of course, you cannot run all the Windows application on this computer and also the Windows software may not be of the latest version, but it's nice to have this option. Uh, I mean, you can also install an old version of Photoshop on this computer using this app. Next is the software installation. Now this is very important as we all know how difficult sometimes it can get to install a software in Linux. Now Dippin has this Dippin store uh, which is kind of a one-click installation method for installing software on your computer. It has this very well designed modern user interface and it's a nice replacement for all your terminal commands of updating the repository index and then searching through the repository on your terminal for installing a particular software. You can check out the top ranked software, install a software from there or you can also go through each category and look for a particular software. 
Next is changing the system settings. Now changing the system settings in Dippin OS is done through Control Center which again has this nicely designed panel. I mean changing the system settings can be done in other distribution as well but in this operating system it is extremely convenient and easily accessible. And I personally think that this is the right way to do it. Now you can add a new user account from here. You can change the resolution of your display. You can change the default application. You can also do few customization like changing the window theme from light to dark. You can change the icon theme, the cursor or the system fonts. Um, you can check out the network status, Bluetooth status, the volume settings are here. Uh, the date and time settings are here. You can also do power management. Uh, keyboard shortcuts can be done from here. Um, there's also the settings for boot menu. You can change the background image of your boot menu from here. You can change the boot delay time, the text color and the selected text colors. So pretty good amount of customization can be done from the control center. And at last is the system update. Now Dippin OS can be updated right from the control center and by going to system information. Now here you get the system information and right below that you get all the updates that are available for your computer. So right now as you can see there are 12 updates that are available. You can select an individual update to run or you can also install all the updates at once. You can also switch to other available repo mirrors from here. So there you have it. Dippin is a beautifully designed operating system with decent amount of customization available and will work for majority of Linux users. Of course, you do not get the level of tweaking and customization that is available with other Linux distribution like Arch, but it's great for someone who has just started using Linux distribution. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, do type that in, in the comment box. And if you want to see more such videos, kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.